Hey guys, welcome to another Code on the Go vlog. So Python this year is the fastest growing language out there. Uh, I'll link to the article below, or maybe I'll overlay it here, depending on how I feel in the edit. So here's the gist of this vlog. Python is growing in leaps and bounds. If I recall, about 2 million new Python developers are added to uh, the mix over the last year or so. Uh, it's now the second Python is is now overtaking Java in some measures, not all measures, some measures, depending on you know where you measure things. You know, there's GitHub measurements, et cetera, et cetera. Python in one measurement has outgrown the fastest growing language out there today. It uh, is now more Python coders out there. I think it's like eight million than there are Java coders. Now Python is second to JavaScript in terms of the number of coders. Yeah, Python is growing super fast. Most of that growth is in AI and machine learning development. Uh, Python, as I said in other videos, is kind of a language that glues systems together. So Python is used to automate backend processes, um, uh, you know, check this, you know, monitor alerts. It's used uh, monitoring system alerts, uh, making sure processes just work well. Python is actually used quite a bit. It's the most popular in terms of machine learning. There are other languages, of course, that could be used in machine learning AI, but Python is the king, and I don't think it's going to get replaced. Uh, so there you go. Python is uh, one of those great general purpose languages uh, to learn. It's popular because A, it's easy to learn, B, it's free, C, Although being free is not that important, so many most languages are free. All languages are free. Okay, it's uh, forget free. Number one, it's easy to learn. Number two, there's a huge community and there's a huge amount of libraries in the Python world, and so it has a tremendous power right out of the box. Remember one of my basic programming principles that I teach: reuse, reuse, reuse. Programming principle number three. It could be number two. No, it's the number one rule. Number one rule of programming, don't write code that's already been written. Or to borrow from the real estate industry, in, the, in real estate they say if you want to value a property, the top three f f criteria that you use to evaluate a property is uh, location, number one, number two, location, number three, the location. Location is key. With Python, uh, with programming in general, uh, the top three rules of programming are reuse, reuse, reuse. Do not reinvent the wheel. Noob programmers will say, yeah, but I should learn to do this. I shouldn't rely on other people's code. That's BS because if you're using Python, you're by, uh, by using Python, you're relying on people's code because Python is written in other languages. It's written in C or C++. So yeah, you're using frameworks, you're using libraries, you're using operating systems. You're relying on other people's code. Trust me, there'll be plenty of code for you to write elsewhere so you don't have to worry about uh, missing out on writing code. So yeah, no, top three rules of programming, reuse, 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 and Python's major power, I would argue, well, one of the two major reasons it's so popular is, uh, is because it's easy to learn and because there's a huge collection of libraries and frameworks in Python that just allow you to go boop, 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 you pop in, pop open that that library. You grab it, you go boom like this, and then you interact with it with your Python, and away you go, Bob's your uncle. And I teach about that in my uh, Python course. Shameless plug. Links below.